In this video, I'm going to tell you what you need to know before choosing your first harp. Let's dive right in. Hello harp friends and welcome back to my channel. If we've not met before, my name is Angelina and I'm a harpist and harp teacher based in the UK. I've been playing the harp since 1998 and I really think I'm starting to get the hang of it now. So let's dive into the topic of today's video, choosing your perfect harp as a beginner harpist. Now, as you are no doubt aware, there's lots of factors to consider and we're going to go through them one by one. Number one, your height and age. If you're choosing a harp for your nine-year-old who is the smallest in their class, maybe don't go for a concert grand pedal harp just yet. You'd be much better served by getting them a lever harp with 32 or ideally 34 strings to start with. What's the difference between a pedal and a lever harp, you might ask? That's a great question. A lever harp has a lever at the top of each string to change the pitch of that string by one semitone. Lever harps are generally smaller than pedal harps and easier to transport in your average car. Pedal harps are in general much bigger, heavier and harder to transport than a lever harp, not to mention a whole lot more expensive. But they have pedals instead of levers and each string can play three different pitches rather than two on the lever harp. If you're interested in finding out more about how the harp works, you can check out this video. The younger and smaller you are, the higher chance that you'd be better served with a lever harp to begin with. My favorite makes are Starfish and Mark Norris harps. Both have a beautiful, rich sound and excellent build quality. I'll leave links to their websites in the description if you want to check them out. Not everyone starts on lever though. I didn't. My father used to play the pedal harp, so that was just what we had at home. I was always tall for my age, so it was never a problem reaching the pedals. But I think my story is quite unusual in the harp world. Most people start on lever harp and work their way up to pedal after a few years. Consideration number two, budget. There's no getting away from it, harps are not cheap. You're looking at anywhere from around 1,000 pounds for a small lever harp, right up to 20,000 plus for a top of the range 47 string pedal harp. If you're an adult and money is no object to you, go for whatever you fancy. If you have a set budget in mind, that may inform your decision as to which harp you decide to purchase. Do not go into debt to buy your dream instrument. But once you've settled on a budget, do buy the best you can afford, even if it means getting a more basic model, but it's new or almost new. Harps are like cars. There's lots of moving parts and lots of things that can go wrong. So buying as new as you can afford is generally the best way. If you're buying a lever harp and can afford to, definitely get one with levers on all the strings. Some are sold with no levers or just a few levers, say on the F and B strings. This is a false economy in my opinion, and it greatly reduces the amount of music that you can play. Don't worry if you don't have the cash to splurge on a harp right now though. You may be able to rent or lease a harp to begin with. This is a sort of try before you buy idea and a really good way to test if the harp is the right instrument for you. It works really well and I always recommend this to my students who are just starting out. They will literally deliver a harp to your house and at the end of the rental period, you can either pay the agreed amount to buy it or simply send it back. Consideration number three, space. Harps are massive. You can get tiny lap harps and things, but if you're wanting to have harp lessons and have plenty of choice for what music you'd like to play, your best bet is a harp with 32 or 34 strings at least. Have a think about your house. Look around the room. Do you have space for the harp, a stool, a music stand, a storage place for your music, and all the other paraphernalia that you need as a harpist. If you have an upstairs room that can be your music room, do yourself a favor and stick with a lever harp. If you live in a top floor flat with no lift, do not get a pedal harp, please, unless you literally don't ever plan to take it anywhere, ever. If you have a spare downstairs room and an estate car already, a pedal harp would be fine for you. Really think about this. If you get a pedal harp, you will probably at some point need to upgrade your car to an estate car if you want to transport your harp anywhere. Are you potentially willing to do this? Consideration number four, 
Repertoire. This might be a question for further down the line or to discuss with your teacher. What kind of music do you think you might like to play someday? If you're playing the harp as a fun hobby, to learn some songs that people know, or you love folk music and singing while playing, the lever harp is perfect for all of those things. A lot of harpists stay on the lever harp for their whole career and they don't miss out on anything. If you want to take exams, you can take them all on lever harp if you want to. Having a lever harp's not a limitation, it's just different and equally beautiful. If you have dreams of playing the big classical harp repertoire, Grand Genet, Salcedo, Hasselmans, etc., you will need a pedal harp at some point. The same goes for if you want to play with an orchestra. It's expected that you'd be playing the pedal harp in a big ensemble like that. Even if that is your dream, you may still decide to start on the lever harp, and that's fine, most people do. So, to answer your question of which is the best beginner harp, the answer is, it depends. Sorry. But there are plenty of factors to consider. If I absolutely had to answer the question though, I would say a 34 string lever harp is a great start for most people, and is a good affordable option if you're going to rent a harp first to see how you get on. I really hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more harp videos and leave me a thumbs up if you found this video useful. If you want to find out more about how the harp works, head over to this video here and I'll see you there.